Well, thanks a lot, folks. Thanks for coming out on this rainy night. I want to thank everybody over there and wherever you're watching this from on the live stream. Welcome. We are Tubop. My name's John Noreko, and uh, got some great guys playing some music for you this evening. Um, first of all, I'd like to take a moment and thank Local 7 and the MPTF for providing this concert free and open to the public. Um, it's a great organization and also it's just a great thing that um, we're being funded by the record industry, basically. So it's a great thing. And um, that first tune was called I'll Remember April. And the reason why I chose it was because April is Jazz Appreciation Month. And thanks to the MPTF, um, we're doing a bunch of concerts. And um, there's, I think, what, seven, Tammy? Something like that, Local 7's putting on. So if you guys are uh, next week, got a great concert here, pa Paul Kryback. We've got all kinds of other stuff going on. So uh, thanks a lot. Anyway, let me take a moment to introduce everybody up here on uh, piano, Mr. Gary Masumoto. <laughs> <laughs> on alto and soprano saxophone tonight, um, can't say enough about this guy. I'm, I'm calling him a young lion because he totally is. Uh, Mr. Jason Favis. <laughs> <coughs> on drums, the one and only, my dear friend and comrade, the incomparable James Ford. And also, my dear friend and president of Local 7 here, Mr. Edmund Velasco on tenor and soprano. This is all part of the pride, as it were. Um, <laughs> we're going to move on and do a, a, a tune... Uh, because we got saxophone heavy this evening, uh, Charlie Parker tune called Confirmation. Anybody else? Oh, here we go. A one, a two, a one, a two. 
Oh, thanks a lot, folks. Appreciate that. And hey, how's everybody doing? Thanks for coming in. <laughs> Glad to see you all. Um, that tune was called, uh, it's actually one of my favorite tunes. It's called Alone Together. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, uh, and I just like playing on that a lot. So uh, thank you for the indulgence. Right now, um, we're going to feature my dear friend Edmund on a, uh, on a tune. So Jason, you can take a break for a second, bro. And uh, we, uh, it, it, Jason brought up COVID. Um, we did 30 concerts at my house during co COVID, and we live streamed everything. I want to thank my friends over here, Tech Sergeant Quinn and Travis, for make, getting it out there on social media tonight. Uh, you guys want to check this out later on? It'll be on YouTube. So, you know, it's all good. And uh, right now, um, Edmund decided he wants to be featured on a great old standard. This one's called Stella by Starlight. Thank you. 
Thank you, folks. Mr. Edmund Velasco. Um, we're going to pick it up just a little bit right now. And uh, one of my one of my heroes in the jazz idiom is uh, Clifford Brown. And um, I tried to steal as much of his stuff as I could to try and play it on the tuba. And uh, I'm still working at it. But um, I just love this song. And here's a great Clifford tune called Up Jump Spring. Thank you. 
Hey, Mike. Thanks for coming out, bro. Nice to see you, man. Hey, we got time for one more song, and then uh, we're going to take a slight break. Please avail yourself at the bar in the back. And uh, thanks again for coming out tonight. We really appreciate it. And uh, this last song, Edmund uh, likes me to play this one all the time because um, I came up with this really kind of strange arrangement of it, and um, I think, Eddie, you'll dig it. It's a uh, kind of a weird thing, but um, we're going to have dual, dueling sopranos on this one, and uh, 
is a Duke Ellington tune called Caravan.
Hey folks, we're gonna start right now and wanna thank you all for hanging out for a little bit longer. We're gonna do a short second set for you right now. And uh, I got a student here, so uh, check it out, Eddie. We're gonna do a little uh, Rhythm Changes tune called Olio.
Thanks a lot, folks. Appreciate that. Right now, we're going to feature um, Mr. Jason Fabus. Um, I was lucky enough to meet this guy. It's been almost 10 years, haven't it, Jason? If, yeah, I know it is. It's pretty cool. Jason, uh, I met him out at Disneyland uh, when it was, I used to work for four decades. And um, he was in the All American College Band. And uh, he came by the band when he was doing that and said, God, I really want to learn these tunes and everything. And a couple of years later, I got him on the system, talked the old leader into having Jason on, and it's been nothing but great music ever since. And uh, one of the tunes that we were playing out there is a Irving Berlin tune, and this song is just not Irving Berlin. And that's what one of the reasons I love it so much. And I think, isn't that where we first started playing this tune? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was one of those tunes that just, man, how, how the heck is this Irving Berlin? Anyway, this is a great old tune called The Best Things, The Best Thing for You Would Be Me. Excellent. Yeah, this one. And he kind of summed up what I was hoping to say, so I'm, I'm really glad that you actually mentioned that, John. Because the, the point being, when I was in college, man, I was a young kid, I was 22, 23 years old, and I remember in those times, people would tell you, go to New Orleans in Disney because there's real jazz being played. And I got to go see people that were playing real music. And uh, I remember one thing. They had a list of songs that you had to know if you were going to play with that band. And any time I'd get a shift with that band, and he was the leader or Rusty Stars was the leader, they would purposely call tunes that they knew I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> this was one of those songs. So here we go. Thank you. 
Jason Fabus, oh man, the young lion himself. Thanks a lot, folks. Um, we've been playing a lot of tunes from the American Songbook and Jazz Standards, and there's actually a difference between that. There's Jazz Standards, and then there's American Songbooks. And as jazzers, we adopted a lot of the American Songbook and turned them into jazz tunes. And this next song is one of my all-time favorites, and it's from uh, My Fair Lady, believe it or not. But it's just a beautiful, beautiful song, and we're going to try to swing it hard for you right now. This one's called On the Street Where You Live.
folks, thank you so much for listening, and thank you for coming out tonight. We've got time for one more song. We're going to call it an evening. Once again, thank you, Local 7, and everyone that works there, Taryn, Tammy, Edmund, Pam, wherever you are. Thank you to the MPTF for sponsoring this event. We greatly appreciate you, and come on back next week. Paul Krybeck and his boys are going to be out here making some great music. <coughs> and also, one more thank you to all of you up here. Thanks a lot, guys, for making music tonight. We really, I really appreciate it. We're going to end with a great old tune that's usually a ballad, but I like to do it up. Here's a tune called That's All.